everybody. Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel and uh, doing something a little different today. I'm in a different uh, spot and I'm also um, going to try something new. Well, it's new to me, but, um, you know, uh, going through Instagram, I saw an artist there and I can't remember who it was, but I think I saved it. If I remember, I will link um, the Instagram below. And um, what this artist did is that they did a image transfer onto a very inexpensive silicone mat. So I got a couple of these for like maybe six, seven dollars on Amazon. And the ones I ordered, they come in this, this little box here. There's two to a box. And um, so that's what the box looks like. And it's 15 by 11, pretty much. Almost 16 by 12, almost. So I picked out some magazine images I had with some added words, just I'm covering up the logo here. And then this is a photograph that I took that I uh, had printed off on, on a laser printer on some um, laser paper. So we're gonna try, let's see if it works. First, I'm gonna try this one. And I'm using uh, Mars Black from Liquitex. Um, this has um, been the most successful uh, black paint I've used to do image transfers. So I'm gonna stick with it. And um, so basically I'm just, you know, gonna add some paint and let's see if this transfer works. Now, I forgot to grab some tissue, but let me try and pick this up. Some copy paper here that I'm using as a brayer off sheet. Ah, fingers crossed. Look at that. It's not perfect, but it works. This was kind of a little iffy down there. And of course, this is backwards. That's... I figured that but um i wanted to cover up the the logo that was on there um but no that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so here's what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean up some of these edges as this dries and it shouldn't take long to dry So, yeah, this is completely dry. It's only been a couple minutes. So, let's see here. Let's do some lime green and this here blue. This is a bright aqua green and this is lime green. So, let's see. Let's try to make a little room here. I have my brayer sheet off to the side here. And so, let's see. Hopefully we can get this to transfer. Separate me tissue. Oh, no, no, no. Get over there. All right, let's see. Let's see how we do here. Let me get a paper towel. Just to smooth things out here. So this is this is gonna be very interesting because it, it's it's great, if it works, it's great for someone who doesn't want to invest in a gel plate, but wants to do similar things that you would do with a gel plate. So I'm gonna let that dry. That is a little wet, so I'm gonna let it dry. But let me take out the other one and we can use that one. Uh, the next image transfer, I'm gonna use the 
photo, here they are, that I took. And this was in uh, Winslow, Arizona, out in a big open area. And there was just a lot of random stuff. And I took a lot of really cool, like, close-up uh, pictures. This is the glass bottom, or the bottom of a glass bottle. And this is twigs and other kinds of stuff there. So I thought that was pretty cool. And so this one is going to go. Let's work it the long way. How about that? All right. I brought my big brayer along so I could get quicker coverage easier. That's not bad, that's not bad, it's very interesting. Now, let me wipe some of this off because then I can use it again. So, that's neat, like it's, it's got the show. Someone's having a good time. Picked up all the details really well. See the, the crack in the glass. Very cool. So I think for this one, let's try yellow. Oops. Not even clear and dark. But we do this uh, primary yellow. Gonna mix in some of this color shift green flash. All right, let this one dry, and then I'm gonna go and pick up the other one. Okay, so this one here, well, it's, it's already coming up on this side, so let's see how much it picked up. Ooh, left some good stuff behind. Okay, this is cool. Look at that. How great is that? I mean, the image isn't like 100% perfect, but it's amazing that you could get such a cool print off a silicone mat. Look at that. And this is just my first try. I didn't do this uh, off camera. I turned the camera on and I started playing. So how amazing is that? Look at all those, the great crackling and stuff, but look at what's behind. Let's see if we can pick that up on another piece. Let's try this Arctic Blue. This is a, uh, Lucas Crow 4723. Now this guy is giving me a little trouble, so I'm gonna try to adjust it. There we go. No, I'm going to try it like this. Look at you can see it. Ah, isn't that funny? All right, I'm going to let that dry. Now, this one. That is not ready yet. Okay. Let's let that dry. I think it's time to pull this particular one. And this was the one that I used my own photo for. And let's see. That is very cool. Can we see the shine? I'm looking for the little bit of shine, but 
That's funny, it doesn't show up too much. But I think it's because I didn't use a whole lot, and that's okay. But I think that's pretty good, considering it's a silicone mat. That's, that's awesome. Very cool. Maybe one day I'll test the other black paints that I have to do these transfers and see if, you know, one works better than the other. That's another video. Today I just want to play around and do some transfers. Now, for this one, I'm going to leave this down. And I'm going to use this last one I have, a magazine image. And then I have some words. But you know what? I'm going to leave the words off. Because uh, they come up backwards anyway. So let's just go with um, the image. There's just the, the page there. Okay. Mars Black. So I use the other side for an image transfer. So I know this, this magazine page works for transfers. But let's see how it works. How well it works on here. All right. Hope I don't leave it on too long. Ah. Could use less paint. This one's very dark. Hmm. I mean, if you look closely here, this this is like really interesting, like texture and stuff. Fortunately, the best part of the image is this guy's face here. That's really all I can tell. Maybe here, and then legs. But hmm. Could have been the image too. Not great for transfer, but. Not the paper, meaning I'm uh, meaning like the the contrast uh, of the, the the actual photo. Let me let that dry a little bit and clean my brayer off. Okay, let me let this dry a little bit more. I see a few shiny spots. Let's see how we did here. Uh, here's something else we learned. Don't leave the paper on too long. Okay, well, that's another lesson we learned. I mean, cool texture there, but yeah. Gotta find a way to pick that up. Let me try this to pick it up with. And if it doesn't work, well, we'll just take it to the sink and wash it out. Some of that. And here, let's throw in some gold. Why not? Let's have fun. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go on our tissue here. Half here. And this side. If anything, we get some cool papers out of this. But, you know, it's an experiment. Yeah, I, you know, I think the more I'm thinking about it is um, I'm going to try out some different uh, paints to, to transfer with. And we'll see um, if we can get anything that is going to work a little bit better. Um, let's, see. let's let that sit for a moment. 
this one just needs that's dry yep let's get some uh paint on here and i brought some alizarin crimson with me i thought that would be fun I hope I didn't spread that out too thin. Right, let that try. Let's see how the bottom one's doing. Hmm. Got something interesting there. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Okay. Some of that still wet. How about I try some gel medium and see if we can uh, pick up the rest of the paint with that. This is basically a glue. The heavier paper. Let's get as much of it as we can on here. All right. Down there. A sheet here. Let's let this dry and I'll see what happens. This is all experiments, guys. Let's see how this transfer did. You really can't tell that it was an image transfer, but there's some good stuff on here. These crevices and all those really cool textures there. We got this left behind. So I'm gonna give it the old gel medium treatment. And let's see what we get. All right, so I think this one might be ready. This is the first one that we use the gel medium on. And, ooh, so far, oh, paper sticking, so that's not dry. Uh, I was not ready. Okay. Let's try this side. I'm probably just being quite impatient. So I'm going to leave it down for a few more minutes. Okay, so I think these have dried long enough. They've been down for about 30 minutes. So let's see. That side I had already pulled up. That's stuck. Let's see. Oh. Although, that's pretty good. That's some great, great stuff going on there. Despite that little issue i wonder yeah that's not going to come off well so i'm not going to worry about that but let's see how the other side is doing all 
this side. Still got some ripping. Okay, hopefully not as much. No, just a little area up top. And again, look at that. That's so very cool. So, hey, not bad for cleaning up sheets, for cleanup sheets, right? Because that's what we were doing, trying to get the paint off of here. So, yeah, this will come off with just a little water. And when it peels off, it's just, I'm not gonna worry about trying to glue it back onto the print because these prints will probably get cut up for something else. All right, fingers crossed for this one. This is the one with the alizarin crimson. Look at that. Nice and clean. I love it. And this side. Oh. Look at that. One complete pull there. How great is that? Some wonderful stuff going on in there. Well, hey, not bad for a day of experimentation with a silicone mat, just a plain old silicone mat, some acrylic paint, some laser printed images, and we got some cool stuff. So again, these were the cleanup sheets meaning I cleaned up the silicone mats with them using the gel medium. I used the matte gel medium. And then here are some of our prints. So let's see. This was the very first one. Probably, I'd say maybe the best one. I don't mind the wrinkles at all. I like them. So there's the image transfer. This was from a magazine. And then this was just uh, cleaning up. This was another image transfer, but we did not get much image, but we got some really cool stuff going on here. And this was just cleaning up the edges. This was another attempt to, this was, oh, this was uh, me, we were trying to pick up the stuff on the silicone mat and I put over this bright aqua green and gold paint. So we got that cool one. This is another image transfer. This was the photograph I took of the broken glass bottle, the bottom of it. Again, I don't mind the wrinkles. It's, it just looks very vintagey, which I like. Okay, so that was good. Oh, that's the other half of that. Clean up. So you know, all in all, I think uh, it was success. It was a successful. Um, experiment and really I basically um, learned that the silicone mat you can't leave it dry too long and you can't take it off too soon there's a fine line um, and then while I'm doing it while I was doing the printing I was thinking I wonder if conditioning the silicone mat with some mineral oil will help so that might be something I try again. And then I also want to try the different uh, types of black paint to see how each one works best with um, the image transfers. I got to get more images to transfer. I'm all out right now, but I'll get some more. Um, what else did we learn? Um, that it gives you some really cool textures and it works well with gel uh, medium. The acrylic gel medium today i use the matte but you can definitely use the uh glossy and i didn't use the matte I, I didn't use the glossy because this is not the side that was gonna this wasn't really shiny paint so i'm not too worried about that but it's just it feels very smooth but it looks like it's like all rough and and texture so i keep my hand keeps going over it and then these are great too. So, you know, if you don't have a gel plate or you don't want to invest in a gel plate at the moment, try a plain old silicone sheet. You know, 
I would get a brand new one. I would not use one that's had food on it. Like I have some silk patch sheets, those really expensive French made uh, cooking mats. Um, I wouldn't use that on it for this. That, that, those are just to, those, are, those are just for food. Um, get yourself a couple of these. Like I said, I got this on Amazon. If I remember, I'll link that below in the description box with all the other info. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you uh, had fun with this little experiment as much as I did or watching. Um, and maybe you'll try it. Let me know if you do. And if you have any tips and suggestions, like always, just drop me a comment down below. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Have a great day.